Hey, what up, everybody? It is Marlon Egolf for Draft Magic. Hopefully, you can not only hear me, but you can also see me, too. I got a new computer. Um, the webcam on my last computer did not work, and uh, it was kind of just shitty. This is not as nice a computer as my last one was, assuming my last one hadn't been ruined, but it was it was destroyed by, uh, by years of use and draft recording and everything like that. So, I uh, just want to give you a review of what I'm doing. I am doing some mask draft because um, Theros is awful. Um, and I'll get into that in a little while. And cube, I'm not going to play cube, fully powered cube. It seems miserable. The decks I like to draft in the normal, normal cube are generally rock type decks. And those decks don't do well against, you know, turn one Blightsteel Colossus. Um, here, you got a couple of removal spells. You got Vendetta, destroy target creature. They get a flyer. Um, sorry, afterlife. But Vendetta is going to be the pick here. I probably should have gone through this a little more. Um, I do like these older sets, so I saw masks draft back, and uh, here I am drafting some masks. Um, let's see, what do these cards do? Oh, so it's a guy. Second land, put two squirrels. Second, that could be all right. This is, it's like an underpowered set, but underpowered sets tend to be fun draft formats, because it's not like, you know, it looks like I'm drafting a bunch of crap, but it's not like their decks are going to be better. So what really happens is you got a lot of mediocre to below average cards competing against your set themselves, competing against each other, and then it ends up being pretty fun. Um, Kamigawa Block was the same type of deal. Um... Ben Stark, who I respect very much, said Kamigawa Block was the best limited format ever, and um, it's definitely in the in the top. That was when I just started. Anyway, what am I taking here? Squirrel? This seems like the most... Uh, it seems like this has the most promise. Ribbon Snake was good, too. Um, it's not... So, Kamigawa Block was right when I started drafting, so I don't really have a good basis of comparison, but I tend to agree with him. So Saber Ants, whenever it's dealt damage, put that many. Um, one ones into play. I like the picture too. Sunken Field. A lot of these cards are bad. So I mean there's things things like Moss Moss Dog I'm just gonna, you know, gloss right over. Um, let's see. Seal of Fire is probably the best card. This guy is pretty threatening. Um, oh yeah, what I'm wearing this is generally how I play magic um on my computer is I I'm shirtless and pantsless too. I'm just wearing boxers, <laughs> so picture that in your head. And then uh, I have like a blanket wrapped around me, so that's kind of my thing. What I'm doing right now. Uh, I did, I wanted to you know stay in my comfort zone. Uh, saber ant, seal of fire. Uh, I don't want to be into a third color. I think saber ants are probably pretty good. Heightened awareness. This is. A little bit before the uh, Honden that just draws you a card. This draws you. This is like the Honden, except it's tougher to catch, cast, and you discard your hand every turn. Squallmonger. Squallmonger is probably the pick here. It's that, or we can branch into white for Defiant Falcon. So rebels are a thing here. Um, let's see. So we got Rally. Trap Runners also. Unblocks attacking creature comes blocked. Trap Runner is also very good. To each creature with flying at each player. I mean, this is... It's any player can do this ability. So, it's pretty rough. This card's actually not bad either. Um, again, I think one of the white cards might be the best, but I'm going to take Squallmonger because I'm already in green. Um, there's not... You know, the the cards in this set aren't strong enough so that you can kind of dick around. You kind of got to get the good ones because by pack, like, by pick like six or seven, they're all gone and you've got like infiltrates left. So anyway, what was I talking about before? Oh, Theros. Theros is an odd draft set because it, it's the most polarizing draft set I've come across because there are some people that really like it and there are some people that absolutely hate it. Um, I'm one of those people. Uh, I know Michael Jacob, who I'm a huge fan of, is another one of those people. He says it's his least favorite draft set of all time, and it might honestly be my least favorite draft set of all time. Uh, plus two, each other enchantment. So this is double rampant growth. 
Discards a card. Now, I haven't seen a lot of black, and if red's open, green red's actually not bad. Um, let's see, Cave Sense says Mountain Walk. See, like, this pack sucks. Uh, what do we got? Exile target tag creature, unless his opponent plays that. Animate land. Wall of Dif Distortion is, like, could be okay, but it's really overcosted for the size of it. Venomous Dragonfly, not particularly good with Squawmonger. Do I are there any squirrel creatures in here? Hmm. See, this is tough, because you I mean, none of these cards are good, but I might legitimately have to play Venomous Dragonfly. What do we got? So two rares, Elephant Resurgence. And then Crumbling Sanctuary. Reign of Tears, Spiteful Bully. No, oh, Bintara Elephant's actually fine. You know, it's a reasonable. Even if it loses Trample, it's still it's still big enough in this format. And here we've got Target Creature gets plus two plus two. That's not bad. Foil one. Fog Patch is fog. This holy crap! <laughs> this is one of the best limited cards ever. Wow. That sucks because. These would be fine in my deck, but this this is better than this or this, so we have to take Troubled Healer. Damn. Droids are regulars. Tiger Claws is... Eh. I mean, like I, like I said before, it's something that you might actually have to play. So I'm green and like other stuff. Let's see. It deals two damage to that player, unless that creature attacked. That's bad. Green or white spell, that player discards a card. Nope. Black Lith Whelp. Uh, that's probably the best thing here. So we've got Moss Dog. Is that creature or generate a creature? Tap all creatures. These are all bad. This could be... This is the only thing that could be annoying. But I have been playing a lot of Magic recently. The, these limited formats are just boring to me. These, uh... I don't know what it is, man. Like, the... Return to Ravnica block was just awful. Um, some people liked it a lot more than me, um, but most people didn't like Dragon's Mage. I do know that much. Um, I just didn't really like the entire the entire block. I just didn't really like it. M14 was fine. I actually uh, enjoyed playing M14, and then Theros was fun for maybe two drafts, and then I hated it. Um, it's just it just was not good. Just the, the too aggressive, you know. There's just things when the when a set is too aggressive and cards like combat tricks become excellent, and you really can't build your board state because you know all of a sudden your opponent's attacking you for you know six on turn two, maybe not six, maybe five, but anyway, you know it just limits a lot of the things you can do in a format, and that is not my thing. And it's not like Zendikar where like Zendikar was like, guys smashed themselves together, but there wasn't a lot of combat tricks, or at least there wasn't a lot of good ones, so like, it was basically just cat and mouse between like, the attacker and defender, and there's just so little interaction in Theros block, because little guys become huge so quick, and there's so many combat tricks, it's just annoying. So what does this thing do? Discard a card, X target lands become forest, damn it. That's not good. Timid Drake, whenever another creature comes into play. So, t whenever... Uh, so, this is a Rebel Searcher. This is a Rebel. I wonder if this will table. So, none of the black cards are good. None of the green cards are good. So, Chris Mage is fine. So, I've... This is good. Like, uh, not this. This These blue cards are not good. This being Chris Mage. I don't... I might play Wall Distortion, regrettably, but I don't want it to push me in any particular way. So it's into Thunderclap. Thunderclap or Remote and Sergeant. And this probably has the best potential. That's, that's not a bad card at all, actually. This is a rare from back in the day. They did uh, make this set a little more underpowered, obviously. Oh, Seal of Doom. I can't... Oh, that's brutal. So this guy gets four. Yeah. 
can't really search for this guy. Ugh. So troubled healer and Ramosin captain or seal of doom and vendetta. So it's either bruiser, healer, and captain or vendetta and seal of doom. I think it has to be the removal. I can splash. I mean, I, I can't splash this, but I can splash the green card, splash the white cards or the black cards. So I'm taking Seal of Doom. I wonder if I look ridiculous right now. I can't see myself being recorded. There's no, like, window on the screen. So I'm just going to have to hope that I don't look like an idiot. Belbay's portal. This is Bel the, this is Belbay, the little dead chick line there. She should have got her own card. If you ever read the story, Be uh, Nemesis was a very cool book, and Belbay should have got her own card, and I'm very disappointed she did not. All creatures of that type, Hollow Warrior. Eh, that's probably better than Deepwood Ghoul. There's not a lot of good green cards here. Tap an untapped creature you control, not declared as an attacking. I mean, whatever. It beats. 4 4 4 4 is very big in this format. It's not like there's really a lot of other things. Zombie Mercenary, that card's okay. Bog Glider. 1 1 Flyer. Vine, Vine Trellis is probably the pick here. Yeah, Vine Trellis is good. Blocks, and it uh, gives you mana. And this uh, this card's okay. Fading is. Fading, so you remove a counter off this creature, off a creature with fading, every turn during your upkeep. And when they're out of counters, they don't get sacrificed. They get sacrificed when you can no longer remove a counter from them. So, you know, this guy exists for four turns, basically. So let's take that thing. Now what do we got here? Regenerate target green creature. Prevent that damage. Seaput Ghoul. This is the best card. But I think... I don't think I'm going to be red. Uh, discard a card, regenerate target creature. That... It could be okay with, like, Ventar Elephant or something like that. Probably going to play 18 lands. Plague Witch is good. I like Plague Witch. So there's a lot of red cards. This is, well, none of these are... This isn't good. This isn't very good. This is, like, mediocre. That's bad. Um, yeah. The... Plague Witch is actually decent. And what do we got here? No. Sometimes it's okay. Whenever Enchanted Creature becomes blocked, just tap all lands the defending player controls. Wintermune Mesa. This isn't this is the set after Rashad and Port was printed. Not the block, the oh sorry, two sets. So that Rashad and Port, and then they made this, which is it comes in a play tapped. Which Port didn't do. You have to pay two and sacrifice it to tap two lands. It's awful. These are, these are actually the best cards in the pack. I'm gonna take that. So this is uh, adds mana to your mana pool. Fault Riders are the best card. Play two life and generate enchanted creature. Is good with, I guess, this. Ugh, none of these are good. I'm not taking Kieran Toy. So what do we got here? Target player exiles two cards from his or her hand. Oh, each player. Nope. Tim and Drake, Kickery, Woodlot, and Depletion Counters. None of these are good. None of these are good. I'll just take the... I'll, I'll uncommon draft. Um, a bunch of red stuff. Story Trek on Artifact. Woodline Rager, Lesser Gargadon's kind of big. White and blue creatures can't block. Uh, yeah, sure. Wandering Eye, destroy target wall. Yeah, baby. Charlotte Enchantments. Uh, like I said, there's not a lot of great cards in this set. But, I mean, I'm going to have to win, just like they're going to have to win. And they're, it's not like they're getting anything better than Charm Peddlers and all this crap, too, you know? I have some decent cards. It's just the rest you kind of got to make do with what you got. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, uh, 
like I've said nine times in the last 12 minutes. It makes for a pretty interesting draft format. Draft formats with no interaction are what make bad draft formats. You always want to be able to, you know, interact with your opponent and his creatures and whatnot. Things like, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't like, what was it, Shh, terrible format, um, Avacyn Restored, because there wasn't a lot of interaction with the whole uh, bonding with creatures and stuff like that. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Creatures you control get plus 7, plus 7. It only costs 9 mana. Mirror Strike. All combat damage that we dealt to you this turn by unblocked creatures dealt to no amount good enough. Whenever it becomes blocked, untap it. So it's like bad vigilance. Stinging barriers, probably the best card here. Lunge, no, lunge is the best card here. Jesus. This is not a good pack. What am I going to do? So it's time to figure out what I'm going to do here. Enslaved Tar is just really not good. I don't know what I'm taking here. I mean, there's nothing. I guess I'll take a lunge in case I get a ton of red. Rushwood Elemental. That's actually a bomb card here. Sack of land. Terror creature gets plus one plus one. That's okay. Dark Triumph. No. Story Circle. It can be a pain in the ass, but um, it's too white for me. Uh, this is kind of like a 3-2 Fear. Swamp Walk. Do I dare? Five. That's going to table. Five Creed. Um... What else do we have? Deepwood Drummer. This could be a tough one. I think Deepwood Drummer might be the pick over something because I just I'm know I'm gonna be green. And Tarkir is plus two plus two. That's pretty strong. So we're just gonna take that and hope uh something good happens. Stamina, it's kind of a cool picture. I can sell a land card from your graveyard. That's your table, too. That's not actually bad, because you have a lot of ways. Not only do I have uh, this way, I can sacrifice a land here, but I can sacrifice a land here. I can discard cards. That's not terrible. Another vine trellis, probably. Bell-based purchase, okay. I don't really know what my second color is. This land deals one damage to our creature or player. That's good. Uh, like, am, am I red? Bla well, Blaster Mage is no reason to be red. Uh, I don't think I'm red. Fault Riders is fine. I'll just take Vine Trellis. And when that Rushwood Elemental tables, it might help me cast that because I'm gonna take it if it comes back. You put a basic land from your hand and play tapped. The card's okay. It's a Rebel, and none of these other cards are good. What is this? So oh, plus one, plus two. Yeah, that card's fine. So it's something to search out with uh, the captain. So it could be like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> not uh, not the easiest draft to figure out. Tooth of Ramos. Tooth of Ramos is like mediocre. Ch stack two lands of story target land. Lackalith Grunt. No. I guess it's Tooth of Ramos, right? An opponent gave, gained three life. It's plus four, plus four. So what am I doing with Tooth of Ramos? Is, uh, Invigorate's actually probably good. Probably better than Tooth. I already have Vine Trellis and Vine tre Trellis. I don't need, like, a artifact that just produces white. Alright, this is probably the pick here. So it's Ristic Tutor, which is like a... It's a Demonic Tutor, unless somebody play, pays two. I don't really have anything important to Demonic Tutor, and this is a... 
three two fear as I don't have as long as I don't have any untapped lands, which shouldn't be too hard. But this is just a three three, and it becomes a five five when they block it. So that seems to be the pick. Snorting God. So let's see. Howling Wolf. I should have started taking Howling Wolves from the beginning, although they're all pretty terrible. This makes Dark Rituals. Turn turn creature from a graveyard to its owner's hand. Any player may activate this ability, but only time you cast sorcery. Every creature you control does combat damage to a player. The player discards a card. Oh, what is this? Next time a sorcery of choice will damage you this turn. Damage is dealt to target creature you control instead. Saber Ants? Uh, that might be interesting. Now let's see. Exile target creature with the greatest power. Probably not good when I'm green. Though it's not like I have a bunch of huge things. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's the best thing. This just destroys enchantments. I'll take the Howling Wolf in case I see the rest of them. I actually really hope I see that Rushwood Elemental. It actually might be gone. There's a very good chance it's gone. I forgot how bad these packs were. Somebody might just, like, reach on something that costs five green. Yeah, it's gone. Damn it. Uh, Sacrifice the land. Target creature gets plus one, plus one. Should be a plus one, plus one counter. I don't think I'm going to have enough white for Story Circle. Uh, but it does combo with Forgotten Harvest. Should I just taken that rush? Should I have just taken that Rushwood Elemental? What else was in that pack? All right. So now I get I get to try to win with this thing, this pile. It is a pile of I don't even know of old bad cards, but it's okay. Because we're still playing Magic the Gathering here. It's not like not like my deck gets graded, and if it's not good enough, I lose automatically. We've got a battle, baby. This is not a good deck, though. Even for this format, this is not a good deck. But I think I'm, I got the Sustenance, Forgotten Harvest combo. Wish I had a Rushwood Elemental. What do I got? What are we doing? What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Gentlemen and lady, or one, one or two of the ladies. Not good enough. Not good enough. I'm going to use these, I think. Tree top bracers. Do I have anything I want to put a tree top bracers on? Plague, which is good. Figure eight. And, uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it. There becomes a point where I just have to play garbage. <laughs> it's coming. It's it's quickly getting to that point. So this is all stuff I'm playing. Shield Dancer, Herbalist, Tiger Claws, Soul Channeling, like maybe. Invigorate. Topple. It looks like I am probably going to be three colors. I want 18 lands. I'm going to be sacrificing a lot of lands. Oh, these cards aren't particularly good. I don't know. Should I have taken that Rushwood Elemental? So do I splash? I know I splash for... Can ale what cures you? I probably I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. The double white's a problem. I don't know about soul channeling, but it's actually I I think it might actually be like sneakily okay with something like Saber Ants. Plague Witch. 
So what do I take away? Captain. Because this is pretty good by itself. Next time it would deal damage to you. Shield Dancer this turn. Dull to itself, yeah. So we take that. I don't like Topple either. I want to see if there's something else I can play in here. What do I have? Embringer's Revel. Turn creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Wolf Distortion, no. Enslaved Horror is bad. Venice Dragonfly is really bad. Uh, maybe I'll give Topple a shot. And here it is. My Masks block deck. Marvel at its lack of Rushwood Elemental. <laughs> so let's actually add land. Alright, so what are you thinking? Thinking 12, 3, and 3. Let's do 10, 4, and 4. Right? Yeah, that's probably okay. 10 forest is fine. I only have two things with double green. Eh, maybe not. Maybe that's not okay. Uh, three in there. Okay. There. There we go. Wonderful. Guaranteed to win.